tea. And I don't know if y'all can hear me. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm gonna just go with it anyway. First of all, first things first, you girls feeling better for those of you who do care. Thank you for everybody who checked on me, who reached out to me, all that good stuff. I watched with you. I'm very much alive still. Um I think you can still kind of hear it in my voice. I'm in recovery very much. I'm gonna end up recovery basically. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um so hold on y'all. So yeah, your girl's very much in recovery, very much feeling better, but you know, I still got a road to go on. What I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's get into it. As you can see by my setup, am I actually? I, I got tape off. I don't know if y'all care, but I got tape off. Anyways, let's get into today's video. Your girl's finally doing her shoe video part two. And I think it's been a long time coming, so I'm gonna just get into it, right? Right. Now, today I chose to go a little bit light because I didn't want to do too much. Last time, I think my video was like, what, 20 minutes? And I had to condense it to whatever it ended up being. I don't have the time for that, y'all. I ain't gonna cap to y'all. So what I'm gonna do is, what is it, six? Six pair of shoes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, first things first. We got these bad boys, y'all. We got, we got these, y'all. Now these are, I don't wanna tell you the wrong name, but you be mad at me, no, I ain't having that. So these are the Nike Off-White Air Rubber Dunks um, in the green stripe. That's my green stripe. Well, that's the name of the actual shoe. So it's the green stripe uh, of the Nike Rubber Dunks. I got these for my birthday. Um, and I wasn't originally supposed to get this shoe. But I forgot what happened. What shoe was I supposed to get? I can't even remember. If I think about it, I'll insert a picture. But I got these for my birthday. And I had no clue what I wanted to wear with these at all. Because I was just like, first of all, I don't really care for dunks. I never really care for these type of shoes. It was giving me very much skater. It gave the girls run through the hallway with your arms up. And it ain't no problem. But just for me, I couldn't do it. You know, but this should grow on me. I think I just for my birthday I just really want to do something different. Something out of my comfort zone at least, so I did these. Um and as you can see the colorway green, black, orange. Um there are there is gray. Um and yeah, I guess for my birthday I'll show you what I end up wearing with them over here. I just I really like this shoe and this is not the shoe with the tag, but of course when I show you the close up video you'll see the tag on them that make it off white. You know, I told you I just like I like extra stuff in them. And it got words. I like shoes with words. It just tells me it's shoe. And the price of this shoe is da, 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 367. Now, of course, as I said in previous videos, your size is your size, but it's gonna vary. I don't quote me, okay? Okay. Next, next on the docket, what do I get there from? Oh, I know. Dang, I shouldn't quote that. Anyways, now we have the Yeezys. Now, I'm gonna tell you what somebody needs. I wanted these shoes so long, and it took me so long to get them. I recently got these, I wanna say last year, if I'm not mistaken. These are the Yeezy Boost 350. Um, zebra. Zebra. Now, it was right here in my face, and I couldn't think of that word. I think that just goes to show that I may need a little more help than I thought I did. Um, that's ridiculous, but you can get into it. I'm gonna let you get into it. You, you hear me? Yeah, um, these are roughly 389. Again, that is for my size. I'm not gonna say that with everyone, but I kind of be one y'all. I don't never want to come in like, oh, 20, you got no, no, for my size, 389, right? And I, what did I get these from go? Pretty sure. Anyway, I love the shoe. I still haven't found the right fit to wear with them, but I've worn them before, if that makes sense. So I haven't, I haven't worn anything that I feel like, oh, I should post, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I got. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know, very particular. But I, I still don't feel like, oh, I be stunting or whatever you want to say. But I just, certain stuff, I just need, I need something for my own piece, my own center. You feel me? You feel me? Um, so, yeah, those are the 350s. Now, we're going to get into my favorite birthday shoe. Um, I'm just, I'm just showing y'all. Relax, come on, ain't that, come on now. Ain't, you know, something light. These are the Nike SB Dunks. I told y'all I just got to Dunks. These are my first and only pairs of Dunks that I have. Yeah, y'all, whew. Let you get into it first things first. You, you, let me get up. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about? Can you get the aglet? Shout out to Finney and Ferb for the aglet. Dang, I'm shaking like a stripper. Well, I wanna be a stripper. 
That's why I keep saying triple threat. Let's just say that, okay? That's, that's it. Um, but these are not against me strange loves, as you can see. The aglet really what got me, but the velvet, it was the velvet for me. I seen it and I was like, I need that on my body. You know what I'm talking about? I felt like 23 velvet. It rhymes in my head. Yes. So this is why I got these shoes and oh, my mom still hit me for these shoes. But hey, you know, you, you can't please everybody. You gotta please yourself. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Shoot it over. Right? Right. Okay. Um, but no, very thankful for this shoe. Very much thankful. Very grateful. All that good stuff. Um, I ain't even worn it since my birthday. I think I put it on to run somewhere and just took it right back off. I just, this shoe, you know how they are black women? You know, very true. That's, you know, I ain't, y'all know about black women. Don't, come on now. Don't get me started on that. Anyways, you know how they like black women and just pause because of the essence of black women? That's how I feel about this shoe. You know what I'm talking about? In the shoe world, this is black women to me. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, you did, you did. Now, and y'all probably like, I hate that shoe. And, what about it? You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? Okay. That, did I tell y'all price? Did I tell y'all price? I get off on the whole tangent and don't even tell y'all price. I don't even do what I'm supposed to do. That shoe, okay, this is what I'm gonna hate, okay? By the band. It was it was by the band. I don't care. I don't care. Um an investment. An investment. That's really all I gotta say about it. An investment. Um, you know you're trying to justify something and you just you have nothing else but to say. But you that one thing that you keep saying, that's what that is for me. An investment. Uh but I don't see myself ever saying selling them. I just whew, you you hear me? Okay. But What's next? Okay, now let me tell you about the shoe. Okay, ah, uh, listen, listen. Before the jokes fly. It, okay, this shoe was, I sold myself on the shoe. I was in outlets with my cousin. And we were, we was in San Francisco outlets. And we were shopping for him, cause his birthday was coming up. But I seen this shoe and I said the colorway. I'm, I'm an off white girl the color, not the brand. You know what I'm talking about? I'm an off-white girl. Very much eggshell. If it's giving dirty white, I don't know what I was saying. I got interrupted, so I had to come back. So when I seen these, I was like, okay, it's giving the girls Tawanda. It's giving the girls tea, if you, if you feel me. You know what I'm talking about? Um, when I seen the colorway. Now, I'm wearing a little closer so you can understand what I'm talking about. This is a eggshell, I would say, or maybe, maybe even a beige, you know, however you want to say it. What am, I, what am I gonna do about that? These are gray, white, black, and a uh, uh, beige. God dang, beige, can't even say work. But I seen these and I was like, yes. Now, what didn't tell me at first was the style of the shoe. It's giving a specific type of middle school. I won't say what it's giving me, but it's giving me that. And I have the perfect person in mind when I think of these shoes. Either way, I like them, so I got them. Um, but really what was told me was the color. Like I said about the rubber dunks, I like anything that says a word on it. So, I don't, look at me show you. God, dang, this why I do too much. That's what I get. That last one doesn't even make sense. Hold on, y'all. Te technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. I, st I got one minute. I still like, I told you it ain't 100%. Either way. You now what that say? Because I want to tell listen, I'm it's a secret. I'm gonna get closer. I ain't want to tell y'all what it says because I don't really know how to pronounce the word and I don't want to chop up this man's name or this woman. You know, women do things too. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so if you can tell me what that means in the comments, not what it means. So if you can just tell me what it says, you know, DM it to me how you say it phonetically. You know what I'm talking about? I appreciate that. Um, I think it's about women. It's really not that hard of a word. You can pronounce it either way, so I just didn't really know. These are the, uh-uh, what is called? The 6,000. These are the Nike P6000s. Um, and these typically run for $100. I got them for 75, 70 something. Um, of course, because they were at the outlet, they're gonna be cheaper, which is why I go to the outlet to get my shoes, yes. Um, I just touched all over this shoe, then touched my face. Granted, it was with my nail. Sorry, that was an internal moment meant to stay inside. I brought it out to y'all. 
Anyways, I can't believe I just did that. All right, sorry. I haven't taken a picture in them to show y'all, but I really do mess with this shoe on foot. Like, it just gives me comfy. Like, I could have put it on today. Like, I could have put it on today to try and show y'all how it looks on, but you just gotta take my word. Well, get the shoe. You get the shoe. I'm thinking I might want these in another colorway. I really do like this shoe on my foot. Now, when you just, when you just looking at it together, you, you feel me? You gotta, when you squint and close the eye, you good. You know what I'm talking about? They're cute. Forget y'all. I don't care. Um, these are my baby. I think these are my first pair of off-white sneakers that I have. Um, and just anything that looks industrial to me, it, it piques my interest. So, like I said, the wording, the tags, just stupid stuff. Like, the fact that they say, like, off white these, I ain't gonna say nothing. Maybe, maybe I can get an endorsement money. Let me shut up. Um, <laughs> I was fine. Thinking about stop my own bag. Either way, wishful thinking. These are the Nike women's waffle races. I ain't even had a chance to look at my notes. I just know it off rip. Um, I did it three times. Anyways. Nike's Women Waffle Racer. Um, I got these from Goat, if I'm not mistaken. And what made me get these, honestly, is because I seen somebody in a similar pair. It wasn't this type of shoe. And I was like, I like them. And then when I looked at the price, I said, I don't like them. You know what I'm talking about? I just felt like it, it wasn't getting what it was supposed to get for the price. Okay? So what I did was when I looked, um, I got a suggestion. And it was these. And I was like, hold on. You may have just did something. So I went ahead, you know, clicked this shoe. And I liked it. So these are only $160. I say only because if you know Off-White, typically their shoes are higher priced, yes. So when I seen these, I was like, somebody lying. I really like this shoe, um, mostly because of the colorway. And when you walk on these, it really feels like you're about to fall over. Now, I would recommend, just because I like to see people fail. I'm just playing. I would recommend wearing these while drunk. Because I feel like you're going to go on a little spin. You know what I'm talking about? Just a little, whoa. You know what I'm talking about? Just a, you know, you feel me? I feel like you would enjoy that. So get drunk, get these shoes. Uh huh. Um, I want these in way more colorways. I really do love this shoe. It's lightweight. You know, you can kick somebody with this. They gonna feel it, but you won't. That's how good the shoe is. Think about that. See, I'm a good salesman. I'm looking today. Either way, this is Nike Women's Walker Racer. I got this last year or maybe in 2020. It's 2021. Ew. But yeah, that is the Nike Women's Walker Racer. Last but not least, y'all, we got the mids, the blazer mids to be exact. Now, I told y'all I'm a mid girl. I love me a good mid shoe, regardless of what it is, what it ain't, you know what I'm talking about? And this one in particular was my first pair of mids since mids went out of style. Um, and that just means since people really stopped wearing them. I don't really think a shoe can go out of style. It's just, if people want them, they gonna get them. Um, and I just, I stopped wanting them. So this is my first shoe. I got these at outlets too. I was in outlets and I was like, bro, I was just browsing through, you know, the section. I wasn't even there for me per se, but then I seen this shoe and I was like, hold on, it's a mid. And I want to say this wasn't. I know this wasn't. Um, the, they typically run hundred dollars, as with the last shoe that I said. This wasn't hundred dollars. I want to say this was seventy something. I want to say it was fifty, but that's I'm probably tripping. But at the outlet, this was a, it was very cheap. And so what's different about this shoe is like it's not the typical mid blazer like i don't know how to explain it but the look of the shoe is a little bit different um as you can see first of all this is cream and this is the off white so it started off off white it's not dirty y'all don't don't play um and this shoe itself is like a leather the laces are it feels like a blend of leather and the you know the regular cotton and then the aglets are gold let me see hold on there it is. So that's really what made me like this shoe a lot. I was just like, hold on, it's, it's giving the girls different. You know, it's giving the girls apart from the rest. You feel me? That's what it's giving. Um, so I got these, and this was like my first, uh, my little taste tested back into mids. And I kind of just went a little crazy, okay? You know my business. I have no picture in these. Because the style I want, okay, let's get into it. The style I want to wear with these shoes, I don't have the clothing for now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what I want to wear and I know what I think will look fire. And I've seen people in the in the outfit itself, not with the shoes, but I've seen people in the look 
it's just not a typical streetwear. Like it's not sporty. And you know, typically I'm a sporty girl. I got on sweatpants and a t-shirt. Name my outfit why I didn't have on sweatpants and a t-shirt. Which is why I'll never say I'm fashionista. That's all I wear. You get, you get what I'm saying? But for this shoe, when I take a picture, I just don't want it to be the typical or the regular. So it's, it's like, you get what I'm saying? It's not, it's not really much variation. <laughs> um, except when I dress girly. Okay? So for this shoe, I don't want to do typical streetwear because I don't feel like this is a streetwear shoe. This is, I know what it's giving me, y'all. And if I could put it off how I want to put it off, I would be very happy. I don't know if that would blow y'all minds, but to see me in something that different, let me stop talking before I do it. And y'all be like, girl, this ain't even that different. My business. But yeah, still only got four outfit with this shoe. But with that being said, y'all, that concludes our shoe video part two. Sorry it took so long. What do you want me to say? I got to say. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, um, I really appreciate you for watching. I thank you all for staying here this whole time. Um, again, if you checked on me, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, because your girl was, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Anyways, I don't know what the next video is going to be. Y'all can let me know what y'all want to see, which I don't want to see. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and send me to see y'all next time she decides to do something, get in front of a camera. With that being said, send me this out.